Well, hi, I'm Gabe White. Uh, I've had the great pleasure of teaching class this weekend. Uh, my, my class, Pistol Shooting Solutions at KR Training down in Texas, and uh, worked with a dozen really awesome pistol shooters. It was really enjoyable. And uh, I was asked, you know, what would I say to uh, the average concealed carry practitioner uh, if I could give them some advice or offer some insight? And I guess I would say, you know, if you can learn to, to love the art of the handgun as one addresses a martial art, you know, like you train it on an ongoing basis, there's a, there's a lot of joy to be had in the self-improvement and the improvement and capability that you can achieve uh, in your skills, in your tactics, in your mindset, all the things that we recognize in the defensive world to be very important. There is really a higher level, in fact, many higher levels of those things available to you. And I, uh, if I could give some advice, I guess I would say, you know, to throw off the yoke of low expectations and, uh, you know, go go forth and proclaim your magnificence, as as John Farnham would say. You know, I think that's uh, I think that's a great thing, uh, just as a person, as a human being, and uh, you know, expressed through the art of the handgun can be a powerful, life saving thing if, if and when the time comes. So, I guess that's what I'd say. That's what I'd leave you with is uh, you can you can become a great thing uh, if you uh, learn what those things are and apply yourself to them. Okay. Well, what if I'm just not a hobbyist? What if I don't love the art? What if I just got my concealed carry license? Why do I need to train further? Do I well, need to train further? Is uh, there a standard that says I need to or I'm good enough as I am? Well, quite honestly, I think there's a fantastic argument that if you are a conscientious person, and you have a gun, uh, you're, you've gotten a lot of the base things that you need. Now, the problem with that, uh, to the extent there's a problem with that, is there's no guarantee you're not be going to be confronted with a rather higher order situation that is considerably more difficult. And, you know, you could take a look at any number of videos available on the Internet. Easy one to refer you to would be take a look at uh, John Korea's Active Self-Protection channel on YouTube. There are plenty of videos there of just how hairy and harsh it can really be. And human dynamics are very difficult when they are applied with full aggression and full force and full speed, the real, real speed a human being can move. And that is what bad actors do. You know, they're not encumbered by thoughts of background or accountability or do I need to not muzzle the wrong person or shoot the wrong person? They don't have to care because they're busy doing something really bad anyway. And uh, that frees them up to attack at their full natural aggressive pace. And that is a, that is a very powerful thing all by itself. You know, the, the military calls it violence of action, but that is what the, that's the basic tactic of a criminal uh, in addition to positioning themselves by surprise. So, you know, certainly just having a gun and being a conscientious person, I think that's a really good thing. And I think that gets you through probably quite a bit, uh, but not everything. And when we're talking about it is your life or somebody else's life that stands to be preserved or lost as a result, you know, maybe that's important enough that you, you find the will to train anyway, even if it's not really something that you love. And, uh, you know, I can definitely tell you that one of the places people find motivation to train is sometimes you don't love it, but you learn to love it. Uh, because it may, it may not start out that way, but as you see tangible improvement in yourself through effort that you give, that can become its own game, a very positive game unto itself, like a game of self-improvement just through the art of the handgun and, you know, associated skills and tactics. Okay. Well, thanks, Gabe. I appreciate it. Thank you.